Thank you for tuning in. I'm Marcus, and today we're going to be doing I'm Moving the Xbox Collection. Now, this isn't going to be the consoles, just like the other videos, it's just going to be games. Uh, there's actually an Xbox kiosk behind me, and stay tuned because that's going to be featured in the sort of arcade video. We're in my garage. This is the um, garage that I'm moving from. This, this, this garage is 813 square feet. Um, and I'll show some of the features of it uh, as we go in the next video, but for this one we're just going to go through the Xbox games. So the original Xbox is a system that I actually won uh, when I was working at a computer store. Basically it wasn't really a store, it was a uh, computer wholesaler and I would actually call uh, places like schools, government agencies, and also resellers and I would try and get them to buy you know, pre-built assembled computers. So it was a really big company I worked for, but we were headquartered out of Portland. Um, and anyway, I was on the sales floor calling and also building and configuring networks and servers. And what that meant is that a lot of the things that came with that would be like Microsoft Office, Microsoft client access licenses for different types of server environments. And so Microsoft would have these sales promotions. And uh, you know, I actually won quite a few things, um, but the Xbox system was one of those that I won, which was really awesome to have because, you know, hey, I didn't have to pay for it, um, so it was, it was cool. The other thing that I won was like two really crappy Zebco fishing poles that had like all plastic gears. I actually remember one time I took both fishing poles out to fish and um, the first cast, <laughs> like reeling it in, it just fell apart. And I'm like, well, okay, whatever, it was a cheapie. At least I have that backup one, the other one. And the same thing, I swear, like I, I fished for maybe 10 minutes and then the gears just fell apart. And it was partly because, you know, they hadn't been used in a couple years, but they were all plastic gears. They were really cheap. And I think I won like a tent. Uh, and I can't remember some other stuff too, but the Xbox was the highlight. So anyway, uh, what that meant was that I got that for free and then I just started buying some games. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to go through what games I have, which aren't a huge amount, but uh, again, you know, a pretty sizable collection. It's just funny though. I don't have room for these in my game room, so that's why they're out here. So the first one is Fable, which is a pretty cool RPG. Um, you know, I only played this briefly at my friend's house. He was showing it to me and uh, explaining how detailed it was and what a cool game it was. Anyway, this uh, also comes with the Fable DVD, which I don't know what's on here. It says bonus DVD. Um, looks like the making of. <laughs> that's kind of a funny photo. That guy looks kind of, uh, kind of sappy there. Anyway, so it's a two-disc kind of limited edition, I guess. I'm not really sure. Uh, this is NBA Live 07. And actually, is there a game in here? No, oh, there is. Okay, just no manual. But uh, NBA Live 07. This is the Halo 2 limited edition collector's DVD, which is pretty cool, actually. The artwork and this kind of brushed casing. But it's, it's in pretty bad shape. It's not the nicest version. Um, here's Halo 2, just the standard edition. This is Desert Storm 2, uh, Back to Baghdad, and Colin McRae Rally 04. This was a pretty good series, actually, for as far as rally games are concerned. Brunswick Pro Bowling. This, I swear, oh, this is PlayStation 2. I don't know what this is doing out here. So this might be a duplicate. I'd have to check. So I'm gonna set this in a different, in a different stack. Uh, Rainbow Six 3 Black Arrow, I never played this game. I have no idea if this is any good. Now this was an accidental purchase. I actually thought this was for the United States Xbox 360 and it was something I bought online quite a while ago. Um, I don't even have an Xbox 360, I just thought it'd be cool to pick this up and it was only like four bucks online. So um, it turns out it's the European edition of uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball 2. And yeah, anyway, it's kind of cool. It's just, unfortunately, yeah, it's the uh, European version. I don't know if this will play on a US uh, you know, Xbox 360 or not. So if anyone knows, I'm just curious, but like I said, I don't have an Xbox 360. Of course, Shenmue 2, one of the coolest games in my opinion for Xbox. Uh, and I think I said it in my previous video on Dreamcast, but there's a way 
uh, there's a ROM image, I should say, of a game that you can burn for Dreamcast that has the voices from this put on top of the European version of this game for Dreamcast, which is kind of funny. It kind of gets out of sync once in a while, but it's very interesting. Anyway, this is a great game. This is a funny story. This is NHL Hits 2003. I'm not going to go into the whole story, but essentially I was tipped off on, I think it was the Fluffy Gamers channel, and uh, to by someone saying, hey, there's a really good buy right now if you want to get this for like seven bucks on eBay. And so I just went and bought it. And I said, hey, thanks for the tip. And anyway, it was kind of funny. But uh, this is where I got this one. This is one of the first games I got, actually, um, with that first launch. I don't know if it was a launch system, but it was when I got the Xbox. I ended up picking this game up. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, you know, at the time it was really fun. I, I never beat it. This is Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Again, I've never played this. This is also the uh, Hollywood Video Edition. Here's another one. This is Ghost Recon something else. I guess it's the first one or something. Um, but at least this is the original game or original game box. This is uh, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. I've never played this. I've only really played the one on Dreamcast, which was Dave Mira. Project Gotham Racing. This is a classic. And it also was a Platinum Hits version. But really cool game. Pocket Bike Racer Burger King. <laughs> so it's kind of funny to have. Uh, this one's really weird. Outlaw Golf Nine More Holes of Christmas. So this is like a Christmas edition of you know this game. And it's a Blockbuster exclusive. It says Blockbuster on it, which is kind of unique. And then uh, Rapala Pro Fishing. Strangely enough, here's another uh, Burger King game, Big Bumpin'. I don't even know where I get these, but kind of cool to have weird, obscure games. This is Driver 3, which I said in the previous video, I never really played the second one, but I did play the first one. Rainbow Six Critical Hour, I haven't played that, this is a Hollywood case. Midway Arcade Treasures 2, so this one's got a bunch of cool games actually. Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, Spy Hunter, Zybots, Narc, uh, Primal Rage, oh my god, I wonder if that's a good version. I've always liked the version on the Atari Jaguar where it has tug of war versus mode, which is just super fun to play. So uh, anyway, hard driving, so some pretty cool classics on that. Enter the Matrix, and uh, yeah, I've never never played that. Street Volume 2, Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Connection, Connection, Collection. So this is uh, what's on here. Oh, there's like a bunch of codes that somebody kind of put inside the case there, but Seven classic tables, including Ace High, Genie, Back, Ooh, Black Hole is really good. Uh, Victory, Teed Off, and Big Shot. So those are kind of interesting. But yeah, the Gottlieb, uh, Gottlieb collection. Here's Outlaw Golf. So that's pretty cool. Now I think this is like the competitor to Hot Shot Golf. And then this is just kind of insane. I don't know. I don't know what this one is, but it's called Freestyle Metal X, and it looks like it's a BMX game, but like, look at that cover. I mean, that is like, they're trying to be really tripped out there, so kind of cool. But seriously, look at that. It's like the guy's coming out of his own eye like two times. So this is Rainbow Six Three. It's not the other one that was like Black Arrow or whatever that is. So again, never played that. Uh, this is Operation Flashpoint and a pretty cheap GameStop box, so I don't know if that game's any good. Here's the first street. What? It's another PlayStation 2 game. I don't know why these are in here. Uh, Gladiator Sword of Vengeance. This looks awesome. I have no idea if this is any good. It looks pretty cool though. True Crime New York City. So that looks kind of fun. I know that's a good series. It's been around for a long time. Here's Outlaw Tennis, which uh, sounds really intriguing. I mean, just look at the cover. It's like, whoa. Here's <laughs> Outlaw Volleyball. So again, just pretty weird, pretty strange game. Uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Of course, um, the Halo Combat Evolved, not for resale version. So this is pretty awesome. This came with the original Xbox. Uh, here's Shark Tale, X-Men Legends. This is some kind of a uh, starter kit, it looks like, so I'm guessing it's, you know, was bundled originally and helps you get online. SSX On Tour. I do like the SSX series, so this is probably a pretty cool game. Power Drome. You know, I'm not sure about this. It seems like maybe we came across that in the PlayStation 2 video. 
and then uh, Ghost Recon 2. Shrek 2, um, I'm not a big fan of games like this, but you know, the movie was pretty funny, so maybe it has some funny moments. Voodoo Vince, I have no idea. It definitely looks pretty interesting. The cover looks kind of cool. But here's Burnout 3, Take Down. That's kind of cool. I remember the Burnout series being pretty fun. I've never played this NASCAR Thunder 2004. Looks pretty okay though. And then here's SSX3, which again, this is a good series. Good music, pretty awesome arcade style. Uh, Scooby-Doo Unmasked. Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Oh, and Tetris, it's a combo. Hmm, that kind of surprised me. This is a combo disc. And then World Series Poker, the official game. Play the pros. So this is like the actual game for the TV show, pretty much. Knights of the Old Republic, this is an amazing game. If you haven't ever uh, played this, check it out. I have beat this, it's, it's an amazingly fun game. It's really addictive as you get going. It, to me, it never really got slow, so it's, it's a good game. There's another good game, uh, Godfather, the game. And I have a friend that got really into this, but uh, I just would go over there and play it from time to time. It's pretty good though. This is a classic fighting game, Dead or Alive 3. Really awesome, super, super fun to play. Great graphics. Knockout Kings 2002. So this looks pretty good, but I've never played this. I do like boxing games though. And this is uh, from Russia with Love, which I'm guessing is a James Bond game, but it's in the cheesy GameStop. Need for Speed Underground. Yeah, I never played this one either. I'm not sure if this is any good. This looks awesome, just from the cover alone. Catwoman. Uh, I love Batman and Catwoman, and, but oh wow, look, it's a, uh, it's a Hollywood video case. So, it's kind of cool how they use the original cover at least, though, to make it look a little nicer. Oh, here's, a, here's another one in a Hollywood video, which is Manhunt. So this is a pretty cool game. It's hard, it's really hard. You pretty much have to like kill these people in this, I think you like break out of prison if I remember right, and you have to kill them in a certain way that the that some guy's telling you to do that. And it's like it's all being filmed, it's really weird. Pirates of the Caribbean, um, based off the movies. And then this is, uh, I guess, Major League Baseball, 2K5. So, pretty cool. Narnia, I never saw this movie, so I'm not sure, you know, if the game's any good. And then Project Gotham Racing 2. So this one is good. This is a good game. Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. I've never played this one. I've just, um, you know what, maybe I did play this one now that I think about it. I played one on Xbox. I thought it was Xbox. It might have been PS2 though. So I'm just not sure. NHL 2K3. So gotta love some hockey. This is weird. Karaoke Revolution Party. I don't know if this is any good. And uh, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. So this is actually a pretty cool game. Mech Assault. Um, I think this sounds awesome, and the cover looks phenomenal. I love mech games, so I think I have Steel Battalion coming up. That's one of my favorites. Crimson Skies, this is a classic, really classic game, really fun to play. Highly recommend picking that one up if you don't have that. And then here's Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, another espionage game. Here's uh, 007 Everything or Nothing, I think I have another one coming up, Jade Empire which looks pretty cool, actually. Very interesting graphics. This one, I'm not sure what this is. Dai Sen Senraku. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, I don't think this is a Japanese game. It just says Modern Mil Military Tactics. Um, and it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like Military Madness in 3D or something, but I have no idea. Just came across a couple loose discs here. Battlefield 2. I need to get cases for these. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, and Need for Speed Carbon. So there's another poker game, World Championship Poker. I'm not sure if this is the official one. The other one said it was an official game. This is funny, Corvette. Got that for the PS2, so totally Chevy. Uh, this is an interesting one. This is Jet Grind Radio Set Future. Or Jet Set Radio Future. I get that mixed up with the Dreamcast version. And then uh, Sega GT 2002. Um, so Sega GT on the Dreamcast is actually a really good racing game. The graphics are awesome. And also the, the previous game to this on Dreamcast is really fun as well. So it's kind of cool to have both of them in one. And they're updated. 
and sequels. Um, this is Ballers, NBA Ballers. So, not sure what's going on here. AMF Bowling 2004. NCAA 2005. Top Spin. Oh, it's, it's another combo game. So Top Spin and NCAA 2005 in one. MLB 2K6. Lynx 2004. So, golf game. Here's True Crime Streets of LA. This game is pretty cool. Spartan Total Warrior. Um, I think this is the one that I talked about that my friend Joseph, who's been on the channel, really likes. Except, I think we we're playing it on PS2, if, if I remember correctly. Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. This is the last Hitman game I actually played. Blitz the League, and I'm guessing this is like a NFL Blitz, but I don't know, it, I think it is. It just must be an updated version, maybe it's longer because it says it's the League, I don't know. Street Hoops. That dude looks serious, man. He's just like staring at you through the fence. Um, yeah, it looks okay. Uh, this is missing the artwork, but it says Total Immersion Racing. Total Immersion Racing. Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. Again, missing the cover. I like this box. It's all black and stuff. Turok Evolution. Um, you know, I'm not sure if this is any good. I do like the Turok series, though. But I think by the point this came out, it was probably kind of dead. Um, Siberia, I've talked about this before. This is a really cool game. Now, Steel Battalion, we have played this on the channel. It uses that huge controller, which I'll show in a controller video coming up. Toe Jam and Earl 3, this is a cool game. This is basically what the prototype on the Dreamcast was going to be, but never did. So if you haven't seen that video, that's on the channel where I play the Dreamcast prototype of this game. And then this is modified. This is obviously finished and pretty fun. This is Steel Battalion Line of Contact. Now this uses the large controller, but it was online only. All the servers are down. You can't do anything with it, so I've just kept it sealed. But um, I'm pretty sure you can't do anything with it. So, And then here's 007 Nightfire. So one of the James Bond games. And then the very last one that I have is Broken Sword, The Sleeping Dragon. And you know, I have no idea if this is any good. It looks interesting, uh, but yeah, I just have no clue. So this is the last uh, Xbox game that I have. Thanks for watching you guys. There's going to be more videos, uh, so stay tuned and you'll see that Xbox kiosk. And then I'll have a console video that's going to have some more interesting stuff too. So of course, until next time, you do you keep that shit retro by playing your old Microsoft Xbox later on.